It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see a brawl inside the AFC South. It's the Houston Texans and the Indianapolis Colts, and it comes your way next. Just a few blocks down the street from the state capital in Indiana, it's Lucas Oil Stadium, downtown Indianapolis, the home of the Colts. Set for a good one here in the AFC South. Glad you're on board with us. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Greg, this always the division of opportunity. Can you get everything right and make a run here? Each team has had its little moment as we sit here in 2024. One more time. This is a division with a chance to make something happen. Yeah, what's so cool about this division, Mike, is it seems like it's changed hands year in and year out, especially here as of late. The surprise teams around the league the last couple seasons have been from the AFC South. A lot of that's been they haven't been the strongest. They're all trying to figure out their long-term quarterback play. But when you talk about optimism and hope, not only in the building but around the city, his teams in the AFC South, they all think this is our year. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The Texans come out with the Rookie of the Year from last year in the NFL. C.J. Stroud, he was the number two overall pick out of Ohio State. Greg, a talented quarterback here. If there's going to be a poster child for just how flawed the pre-draft process can be at times, I think this guy's at the top. I mean, just think, last year, people are nitpicking him going into his rookie year. He can't do this. He can't do that. And what does he do? He comes out and has arguably the greatest rookie quarterback season in NFL history, not only bringing his franchise back to life, but really establishing himself as one of the best quarterbacks in the entire league. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. This one complete to Jordan. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. From the gun, here's Stroud. He's got his man. It's Diggs. And he's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, if we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. Here's second and three to go. Again, they'll give it to Mixon. Angling to the sideline, inside the 35. And he's going to be out of bounds down near the 25. They get 24 on that one. It's good for a Texans first down. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst, they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. And he'll push his way ahead for a gain of two. Zaire Franklin that time, there for the tackle. Look him up on the second down and eight. To throw is Stroud. That's caught right side, the tight end Schultz. Out of bounds, but in business. They mark him down near the two. 
They've got it. It'll be first and goal after a pickup of 21. So first off, nice job picking up enough for the first down. But I got to be honest, Mike, when he caught it, I thought he was going to put his foot in the ground and get physical and run through contact and try to score. I'm not so sure why he just so quickly ran out of bounds, even though he was able to pick up the first. Great chance to make an early statement here on the road. It is first and goal. They'll run here with Nixon. And this one's blown up. It's back at the five-yard line now. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Back to the five-yard line now. Second down and goal. Again, it'll be Mixon. He'll get a couple, mark them down at the three. They'll use three tight ends in the formation for third and goal. They'll try and run with Mixon. And he's so close to breaking the plane, but the official's going to come in and mark him short. So now it's fourth down. So instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. Bear Barron's kick is good. And the Texans are out to an early 3-0 lead. A lot of times as an offensive player, you come off the field, you're not thrilled to end a drive like this with a field goal. But I think in this case, you can label it a success. You were able to operate your offense. You were able to quiet this crowd just a little bit and come away with an early lead. Three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kicks away. Josh Downs now on the return. And he'll be taken down as the next drive will begin there. Indianapolis led out by their quarterback, Anthony Richardson. The number four overall pick in 2023 had some highlight moments, but injured most of the year. Greg now in his second year in the NFL out of Florida. We throw around so loosely these days, Mike, the idea of being a physical freak, right? This specimen that we just aren't accustomed to seeing, let alone at the quarterback position. The arm talent, the ridiculous blend of size and speed, the ability to make plays with your feet and extend. All of these things come to mind when we look at this guy. Now, going forward, how does he strike that balance between being the game changer and that aggressive athlete with the ball in his hand, but also finding a way to stay on the field and be able to develop? Make no mistake about it, though. The energy in this stadium is palpable, and he's the biggest reason why. And really, the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. And I think so often, those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time that's what leads to success, and that's what we saw here. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Well defended there, and the quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide-angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend, so give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and... The ball falls incomplete. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards. You got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive, and you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward. From the gun on third down, Richardson. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. 
It'll be first and goal after a pickup of 27. Well, they certainly aren't wasting any time marching down the field. I mean, you only need one hand to count how many plays they've run, and yet they find themselves first and goal inside the low red zone. This opening drive, it has been a work of art. Now, can they put the finishing touches on? It's first and goal. Off the zone read, this is Richardson. And he will take it in himself. Anthony Richardson. Touchdown, Indianapolis. The dual threat of the quarterback. When you have one that can run, why not use him, especially down here, Greg? And they punch it in for the touchdown. There's nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than down here near the goal line when he can call his own number. And in this case, that's exactly what he does, and he's able to take it in himself. Matt Gay on for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Colts move out to a 7-3 lead. Kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. A safe kick taken at the five. Now an opening past the 30. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Texans offense ready to possess the football for the second time. Trail by four. Touchdown gives him the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. In motion now, it's Collins. He'll begin on the ground, and here's Mixon. And they're going to bring him down, but there is a penalty marker on the field. First down, they'll start with Mixon. He'll try to push forward. He'll wind up getting three yards with that one. Zaire Franklin that time there for the tackle. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. To throw, it's Stroud. That one caught by Schultz, the tight end. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, He's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. He's back to Schultz. He's got it again. It's been a busy first quarter for him so far. His third catch goes for a first down. I know, I know, I'm biased. But listen, you can't convince me, Mike, that there's a better option on the field, especially when you got a guy like this then on third down or critical moments, that's where the ball needs to go. Besides the speed, the matchup problems that he creates. If I was in a critical situation, there is no doubt where I'm going with the ball. He'll let this go deep for Diggs. And that is brought in. 
It is a big time play for Houston. 54 yards. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. Five yards from the house. They've got it first and goal. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. And he will take this one across into the end zone. C.J. Stroud, touchdown Texans. Initially looking to throw it for the touchdown, couldn't find anything. So Greggy takes care of business himself, using his legs for the touchdown. Well, it was clear early on, Mike, that this defense was expecting the pass. And after matching all the receivers in the end zone, this quarterback realized quickly it was his legs that he was going to need to rely on to get the ball across the goal line. Kaimi now, Kaimi Fairbairn on, on for the extra point. He's got it. And the Texans are on top. It's now 10-7. to seven. And so after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. On the return, this is down. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Goes off that, so not ready to get going. On their second possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and ten. Out of a shotgun, Richardson. Quick throw, taken in. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. On the ground for the first time. Here comes Jonathan Taylor. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. It's the Texans who have the early lead. We'll come back to Indianapolis in a moment. They'll come up here first and ten. From the gun, Richardson. Open man. That's Alec Pierce. The attack is going to be made down at the 40-yard line. Give him 12 on that one. They are on the march. Another first down. To throw, it's Richardson. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. He is going to have a 
a coach first down by a couple of yards. Give him four yards. It was third and two as they convert. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. Zone read, it's a give to Taylor. He makes one man miss, but stop quickly as they hold him to a gain of one. Here's second and nine. They go right back to Taylor. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. On third down, they'll set up to throw. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag comes in. That might make this a first down. Now Richardson. It is brought in in the end zone. Alan Pierce. Touchdown, Indy. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. The extra point by Gay is good. And the Colts are on top. It's 14 to 10. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. The return starts from the five. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The Texans offense about ready to take over once more. They'll start out first down and ten. to give up the middle to Mixon. And he finds some daylight up past the 35-yard line. A pickup of seven. Here's a second and three forthcoming. They'll go right back to Mixon. And he's going to weave his way forward. It's a first down at the 44-yard line. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass. And I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. On the ground, it's Mixon. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. He'll lose a couple of yards on that one. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. 
throwing on second down. Stroud. He'll get this over the middle to Diggs. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. like he's going to have that first down. He will, not by a whole lot, but he's got it enough. They convert on third down. Wow, a little change of play call here, and that's typically not what we see at this down and distance. That's typically a passing down, Mike, but they catch the defense off guard, keep the ball on the ground, and they're able to pick up enough for the first down. They'll go play action with Stroud. He'll look deep here for Diggs. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Pretty clear coming into this game that this offense felt that they had a distinct advantage running the ball. It was a matchup that they thought all week went in their favor. And so far, the results indicate that they were spot on. A short throw pulled in by Schultz. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Give them 14 on that one. First down for Houston. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. On play action. Stroud to the left side. Caught by Schultz. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. On the give, this is Mixon. He'll pop this ahead for about four, but it will set up third down. Back to throw. Stroud. That's over the middle and taken in. He's got it. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. Two minutes remain here in this first half. We'll come back to Indianapolis after this. Set to go now on first and ten. Throwing is Stroud. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. His throw complete to Cam Akers. And a good job rallying to the football. Holder just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time. Play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. From the gun here on third down, it's Stroud. Taking off, he'll try to get there. And he's into the end zone. C.J. Stroud. Touchdown, Houston. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. And that is now a pair of rushing touchdowns. The quarterback giving it to them, Greg, with his legs in this one. And we're starting to see, Mike, why this week this coaching staff told us they're encouraging this guy to do this more often. His ability to be a passer but also a rusher is an element to this offense that is hard for defenses to account for. 
Fairbairn able to add the extra point, and the Texans move out to a three-point edge, 17 to 14. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. On the return, this is Downs. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice play to drive to start. The Colts offense and the wideout getting set to go once more. They'll do so with first and ten. That's the tight end, Moali Cox. Throwing on second down, Richardson. He's got a man. That's Josh Downs. They'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Looking to throw. Richardson. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. On second down, Richardson. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And they'll whistle him down, but not before it picks up a first down after a gain of seven. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. Throwing is Richardson. And this one is caught by Pierce. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. Coming on for this field goal try. This about as short as you can get. Gay's kick is good. And the Colts will tie this game up here late in the first half. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well, you're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. So the late field goal brings us level. Final few seconds before halftime as the kick's away. Here comes a return from the three. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. 
With the score, so we've reached halftime here. It has been an entertaining first half. As we'll send you down to Orlando now for Jonathan Coachman as our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports halftime report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Could not ask for more from that first half. All even as we begin quarter number three. From the six, here comes a return. And it'll be brought down past 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Colts offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. We'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Off the play fake, it's Richardson. Here's a deep shot for Pierce. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He's trying to set the tone here for the rest of the game and let this defense know there is not a blade of grass on this field that you don't have to defend because he reared back and he let that one eat. And He's got to work a little bit on his touch, a little bit on his accuracy, but I don't think he needs to work on his arm strength. And he'll be brought down around the 38-yard line. 13 yards on the catch there. First down, Indianapolis. I just see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And, and what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level, and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same thing they see once they do get the ball. Everything is just so much easier for them to process. Change the look, change the coverages, move your safeties. Make the quarterback have to process with the ball in his hand. A second down throw for Richardson. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line. It's a pickup of 13 yards. First down, Indianapolis. This is what every offense looks to do, Mike. They want to attack the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. And oftentimes, that's where the chunk plays come. Give it to your receiver on the move and let them do the rest. Now he takes off. And they'll take this down inside the 35. A great job of knowing when to go. He gets 17 yards on that run and a first down. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Here's Richardson. Finding the open man, that's Pittman. And he'll be taken down. The game is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver. Pick up a first down. On first and ten, here's Richardson. That one, taken in. Drive, 
doesn't it, Mike? Here in the second half, you got a tie ball game. Now you're able to get out in front. Let's see how this other team responds, having to play from behind. We got a ton of time, Greg, but a little momentum feel. Come out of the locker room, take the lead. Now it's up to the other team to climb uphill. So great way, perfect way to get this second half started. Game to add the PAT. The kick is good. And the Colts will go up by seven. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Here comes a return from the five. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. As we saw in the first half, Mike, the defense was really unable to do anything to slow him down. He put up some really big numbers there in the first two quarters. Now here in the second half, just doesn't look like they've made many adjustments in the attempt to slow him down. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. From the gun, here's Stroud. Now a deep ball here for Collins. And he's going to be dragged down, but not until he's inside the 25. A big play and a much needed one as well. It covers 51 yards. They really showed off their connection on that pitch and catch, Mike, and just really good ball placement and really good separation downfield. And when those two things align, it's just really challenging for a defender to stay with them and take that play away. Here's first and 10. Off the play fake. Here's Stroud. Off he goes. And he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions. And he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision. It gets out of there. Picks up some good yardage. And gets down on the ground. A second down throw for Stroud. This drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Noah Brown. Touchdown, Texans. Bear Bear to add the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Texans will tie this game at 24. So back to level after the touchdown. Time for the kickoff. 
This will be returned from the six. He's to midfield. They're going to be set up with a short field. What a tremendous kick return. When you get a big return like that, the offense takes the field with a lot more energy. They can see the end zone. They know they've got a short field. It brings a boost to the entire sideline when the special teams can have an impact play like we just saw there. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Out of shotgun, Richardson. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes, so give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. That ball incomplete. Got the hands in there to break it up. Could have been a big gainer. Instead, it sets up a third down. I can sit up here all day, Mike, and we can talk about the missed throw, but I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass, but I think they saved the touchdown along the way. He gets this one complete to Pittman. 15-yard pickup there. That's good for a Colts first down. From the gun. Richardson, a throw on the move, is caught. And good yardage there after the catch to wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Now it's Richardson, he'll keep it. The Colts are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Sometimes, Mike, the best plan is also the simplest plan. And for this team, just snap the ball to your quarterback, let him find some daylight, and go get that first down himself. From the one-yard line, first down and goal. They'll run here with Taylor. And he's not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose yardage. They push him backwards. In these goal-to-go situations backed up on your own goal line, Mike, what they teach the defense is it's your job to establish a new line of scrimmage. And that's exactly what they did here. Watch the push they get. The offensive line goes backwards, and they take the ball carrier down for him. That is caught by the tight end. the quarterback's best friend and you were that guy for a lot of years the tight end in a tight area with man coverage yeah and it's really twofold mike great right? first and foremost we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups that's advantage offense but then even in the cases they don't create great separation mike it's their size their catch radius it's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone they look to the tight end Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Fisk taken in at the 8-yard line. 
and he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Texans offense and running back Joe Mixon heading out onto the field. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. to throw this one complete to Jordan and they bring him down but not until he gets the 45 yard line it's a gain of 16 and very quickly a first down every once in a while it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here the quarterback just dumps the ball down a quick underneath completion and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest and that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Still first down. So a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. He'll give this to Mixon, running right. They'll get 19 out of that play. It's good for a Texans first down. Couple of runs here to start the drive, and now you got to ask yourself, what's the counterpunch? I think as this defense continues to pack themselves in tight, this is a prime opportunity to try to take a big shot downfield. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Stroud going to set up the throw. Back to the outside. He's got digs. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. They'll work now on second and four. to throw it's Stroud trying the right side taken in by Collins and he'll be taken down 17 yards on the game and now they've got first and goal So these two teams take the long walk to the opposite end of the stadium. We've come to the end of the third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Sure, they're thinking about the decision after the touchdown since they're down seven. But first, they've got to get the TD. It is first down and goal. That's in the end zone and intercepted. And the Colts will have great field position as they take over at their own 45. All right, Mike, file this play away. If they're able to hold on and pull this game out, we're going to look back on this as the pivotal moment of this game. Oftentimes, it takes that one big moment to sway the outcome of a game and no bigger play than a pick deep inside your own red zone. Here's the Indianapolis offense. Now as they get set to take over once more, they lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and 10. second down. To throw, it's Richardson. That one complete to Pierce. 
They're going to work this down inside the 45. A gain of 11 on that one. That's good for a Colts first down. Richardson will give it to Taylor. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run, able to take them down for a loss. Throwing, Richardson. Quickly out to Downs on the receiver screen. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. When a defense has speed to the ball like this group does, it makes these wide receiver screens really challenging because all those fast linebackers and defensive backs that are chasing the ball carrier, the offensive line are the ones responsible for them, and sometimes that's just a speed mismatch, and they can't get out in front. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. So that'll bring up fourth down, and that'll bring on Rigoberto Sanchez to punt as they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. So first and 10 now, they'll start from the 22. They'll run here. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. This is one of those cases where having high-end speed in the backfield can be such a game-changer. The offensive linemen don't need to hold their blocks quite as long. You give this guy a little bit of a crease, and man, he is gone. He'll run. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. It's a gain of 12 there. It's good for a Texans first down. Second and short. Normally, this is a great time, Mike, to put the ball in the air and try to press the ball downfield. But in this case, they keep it on the ground. Has a similar effect. They pick up a good gain and a first down. First and ten. Here's Stroud. And he gets that one complete to Collins. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Give him 15 more on that one. They are on the move. It's a first down. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And these drag routes can be very, very effective. In motion now, it's Collins. They run on the jet sweep. They'll take this forward for about five. After a gain of a yard. Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. Here's 
here's a third down and four. Throwing from the pistol, Stroud. He'll try to run for it. Really nice job here, not only avoiding the rush on third down, but quickly finding that crease, get downfield, and he's able to pick up the first down. They'll stick to the ground. And a good job following his blockers, a gain of seven. It'll be second down. to throw. Stroud. That's caught right side. The tight end, Schultz. And he'll get about five here as he's out of bounds with a first down. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. On first down, it's Stroud. To the end zone, but they can't get it. It's incomplete. He was looking for Stephon Diggs there. It's second down. There's a saying on defense, Mike, tips and overthrows, you've got to get those. Those got to turn into interceptions. So if you're the offense here, after you saw that ball batted in the air, man, I can promise you it felt like a lifetime waiting to see if it just falls harmlessly to the ground. They go sideline, and he stays inbounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. Two receptions for him on this drive. This one, good for 16 yards. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. They've been in complete control. They've been able to dictate what they want to do offensively and make the defense react. The defense has had no... He slams it in there, and he is in. Touchdown, Joe Mixon. Houston. Touchdown, Houston. A huge touchdown there in the fourth quarter, and now just a point away from tying the game. And that's one of those drives, Mike, where you know your best is needed. Can you come through here late and give your team a chance? They're an extra point away from tying this thing up, and we got ourselves a ball game. So they're not level yet. A critical extra point attempt to follow. The kick is good, and that will tie this game here in the fourth quarter. What's in store in the remaining time? And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. And you think back to the first half, Mike, just how well he threw the ball, and you thought maybe this defense would come up with some answers in the second half to slow him down. But so far, that has proven to not be the case. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. Off the zone read, this is Richardson. And he'll work his way forward to about the 30-yard line. Good decision by the quarterback. In this situation, all you're looking to do is have a positive play. He decides to pull it, and that's exactly what he's able to do. They'll come up here on second down and five. Throwing is Richardson. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. 
You know, it's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. From the gun on third down, Richardson. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. You want to be a star in the NFL, Mike? These are the high-pressure moments that you can't shy away from. The great, they embrace it. Tie ball game, fourth quarter. The game is on the line. Everyone in the stadium knows where that ball is going, and I can't blame them. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports. After this, plenty of time, all three timeouts left. It's first and ten. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. All right, so this is why you get paid the big bucks. These are the possessions as a quarterback you need to deliver for your team. Everybody talks about two-minute. Everybody drills it every single week. But when it comes down to this moment in the game, your quarterback needs to be on point. And after that first down incompletion, it just makes things that much harder. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage. And so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Now they face third down and seven. They'll drop to throw. And he's going to get there. He got the first down, not by a whole lot. But that'll keep this drive rolling. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses who struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground. And they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. That ball intercepted. That's the linebacker, Christian Harris. So not a lot of yards on the return, Mike, but that's okay. The number one thing, end up with the ball in your hands. And in this case, mission accomplished, and his guys are headed off the field to celebrate. The Texans offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. We're all even. Fourth quarter, so every drive so important at this stage. And they'll start with first and ten. Stroud. That's caught. It's Joe Mixon. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down. Now, Stroud. Open man, that's Collins. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. Well, the run after catch is certainly nice, and they're definitely going to take it. But watch the savviness of the route running. Certain guys just have a better field for running these slant routes than others, and it's a nice result. Ground to throw here on first and ten. They go right back to Collins. He's got it again. Here's a timeout, Houston. That's their second. And the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go. Now, second and inches. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. And they'll get him down after a game of five, but that is enough for a first down.
They go with Mixon. He's got space inside the 25. And this is a touchdown! They were not going to be denied, and they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. Big play out of the running game as the back accelerates all the way to the house for the rushing touchdown. And Mike, when we talk about burst, that's what we're talking about. And they told us all week, be ready for this guy. He's got something special to him. And that long touchdown there is exactly what they're talking about. Now there, Baron, for the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Texans will go up by seven. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it up. It's touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Well, Mike, sometimes we try to make NFL football a lot harder than it is. When you have a reliable target like this, and he just continues to get open, and you realize the defense simply can't cover him, there's no reason to look anywhere else. Not only has he put together a tremendous game statistically, but he's just been flat out dominant. They'll come up for first and 10. Out of shotgun, Richardson. He runs with it. And he'll be brought down, but what a run. Down to the 40. timeouts still in their back pocket it's first and ten Richardson to throw he'll run again what a run he brings it to the red zone taken down inside the 20 yard line Here's first down. Here we go. One final play. And that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jeff Okuda. And the Texans are going to get the football here as it'll come out to the 20. So it's a win for the visiting Texans. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.